Hey guys, welcome to the Snoop 2.0. My name is Steez and today I'm going to be talking about the legal battle between Peter and Paul of P Square. All right, so there was a letter from Peter which leaked on a very popular blog. You know, it was like a letter of the entire story from Peter's side, you know, talking about the termination of contract. He gave reasons why he doesn't want P Square to be anymore. Basically, what he was saying was he doesn't want Jude to be their manager anymore. You know, and throwback to when this saga first started a while ago, Peter was noted to say that Jude was taking more than the, like the percentage of profits they get from the shows. Jude was not allowing him to sing. That Jude said um, he had made Paul uh, the lead singer of the duo, and Peter's only just to dance, just come and flex muscle and dance. And Peter is like. Guy, me too, I have voice. You grab, I can't sing, you know. There's even a video of of a song by Peter on his Instagram. I think it's called Kiss Kiss or something. You know, it shows that this guy can sing, he can write his own songs. And Peter, all Peter is saying is, my manager, which is their brother, doesn't want him to sing in a group that they all started together. Do you understand? And you know, he doesn't want Jude to continue to be their manager also because Jude has been kind of like taking more percentage share of the profits that both of them generate. And we also got some information that whenever other artists want to feature P-Square, it is Paul that does the writing and the singing. And, you know, it ends up getting a video. The song ends up getting a video. But when it's Peter that does the writing and the singing, you know, Jude doesn't want them to make the video. Or Jude, since he's their manager, is like, guys, okay, this one is, since Peter wrote this one, Nah, let's not, let's not do the video for this one. And to further back up his claim for not wanting Jude to be their manager anymore, Peter said that Jude has threatened his wife before and even before their late mother died, she also didn't want him to marry his Yoruba wife. And he also mentioned that he was threatened to sign a new contract uh, the last time the uh, former contract was you know, getting towards its expiration. Just like the video that was leaked on YouTube, you know, we could see that Peter was the only one on his own side with his, probably with his lawyer and obviously was the one recording the video and Paul and Jude were on the other side and they were the ones like charging at him and pointing fingers and swearing at him and then the entire video led to them getting physical and fighting. It's a mess. It's a huge mess. Guys, what do you guys think? Do you think um, it's the other way around? Maybe Peter is just telling one side of the story and it's actually Paul and Drew that are right in this situation. Or it's the other way around. Maybe it's the wives. I know there's a school of thought somewhere on Facebook and Twitter that said it is the wives. Before they got married, both of them, before they got married to their separate wives, they were cool. And then all of a sudden, after the marriage, everything just scattered. So I, I really want to know which one you guys support. Is it the wives that caused the fight? Or is it actually Paul and Jude's um, team up that is causing the fight? Or maybe it's even Paul, uh, Peter rather, that is at fault in this entire fiasco. All right, so there's this tweet from Niger's side and the tweet goes, Peter and Paul, Okoye of P Square finally split. Guys, who do you think will be the most successful solo artist among both of them? So this tweet from Ayabami Ladikbo goes, Now that P-Square is no more, shall we welcome the two upcoming artists, Mr. P and Rude Boy, into the Nigerian music industry? No, you did not. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I used... Uh, so now they're upcoming artists. Now that they've broken up, they're now upcoming artists, Sabi. You people, you people are savages. This P-Square drama, when they tell you to choose who you marry carefully, you won't hear. Now, it's my wife this and my wife that. That's from the school of thought that I told you that believes that it's the wives that poison the minds of both of them. P Square should retire already and maybe start up business to impact black excellence instead of threatening and beefing. We need new faces. Well, uh, I don't know about that, but I mean, I like P Square. I like their albums and their new songs. Lol, Kai, some of you listeners are born with so. Ferra Gomez should declare P Square terrorists for breaking up. You know, Operation Python, something, something. Should go and look for them. You know, that's crazy. That's crazy. But at the same time, you know, I think both of them should look at the financial impact and the image impact of this whole thing. Because for how many years have they been in the industry? We've known them, both of them, to be a duo, P Square. 
you know. But now that they're going to be breaking up, you know, that lifestyle, that money that used to come in through the P Square performances, the joint music features, and everything, I think I don't think that money would continue coming in the way it was coming in. You don't need to be someone's friend to be in a music group or to be in a business. I mean, both of you be P Square, go for shows, perform. At the end of the show, go home. You go your own way. You might go my own way. I mean, it's all about the money at the end of the day. So P Square, you guys, you guys really need to think this through and find a way to settle it. So that's it for me, guys. It's your boy Steez. Catch me out later.